So we're supposed to do our reader's notebook page, pages 13 and 14. Think like an actor. So do you wanna be an actor? You need to study the text. When you study a character's dialogue or the words a character says, you'll get a better idea of what the character is like. If you take notes, you can play the part even better. So we're gonna read page 52, scene two. Look for a dialogue that tells you about what each character is like. Write the line from the play and tell what it says about the, that character. Okay, so we were supposed to fill out this chart, the dialogue and what it tells about the character from page 50, sorry, 52. So who has dialogue for Althea from page 52? What is something that Althea said on page 52? All right, Maggie, what is something that Althea says? Um, don't worry, lot of campers grab extra mattresses the first night. Uh, don't worry, lots of campers grab extra mattresses the first night. Good job. And um, Maggie, what does this tell us about Althea? Um, she is kind and nice. Yep. So she is, let's say Althea is kind to others. Good job. Did anyone else get a different, uh, some more dialogue from that page? What else did we get from that? Hey, Hen, what dialogue did you get from page 52? Mm, I got this too. Say again. I also got this. You got the same one? Okay. Um, B, what dialogue did you get from page 52? Um, don't worry, lots of camper. Grab extra mattress the first night. You got the same one? Okay. Did anyone get different dialogue from that page? So from this dialogue, we can tell that Althea is kind to others, but there's other dialogue that tells us something else about Althea. Mitzi, what else did you get from this page? I get... Uh, nah, I'm good. Let's try and get some sleep now. We need to be on our game tomorrow. A perfect bull's eye every time, right? Perfect bull's eye every time, right? Good job. And what does this tell us about Althea? Uh, Althea is competitive, energetic, and simple. She is competitive, energetic, and... Simple, like that. Yeah. What is the what? How do? What do you mean by simple? Mm. Uh, at first, she says, "Nah, I'm good." Because uh, she is replying uh, to when uh, Rena said, uh, "Do you want a mattress?" That means she is uh, very simple, and she don't mm. need. Uh, Okay, I see. She doesn't need lots of things. She only needs simple things. Okay, so we'll put that one. She's kind to others, and then we know that she's simple. So, but the we need to be on our game tomorrow. A perfect bullseye every time. So we'll say she's very competitive, and she wants to do what? She wants to uh, uh, win the competition. Yep, she wants to win the competition. Good job, thank you, Mitzi. Okay, <clears throat> what about uh, Rena's dialogue from that page? Who got some dialogue from Rena? Lily, what did you get? I get, uh oh, I do so hate camping. The showers are absolutely primitive. I hate camping. The showers are absolutely primitive. And what does this tell us about about Rena? Uh, uh, she is opposite from Althea and uh, she likes fancy things and she mm -hmm. and she expects the camp to be better than what she was exposed to. Yep, she, 
She expects the camp to be better than it is. Good job. And what about, so we know that Althea is going to get her some more mattresses. Um, thank you, Lily, good job. What does Rena say about the mattresses from that page? Did anyone get a quote from, or dialogue from Rena about the mattresses? What they had to sleep on? What did you get? Um, and Rena? Mm-hmm, yes. Earlier, I tried out that silly coat. It filled me with such discomfort that I'm sure I will never be able to fall asleep. With such discomfort that I'm sure I will never be able to fall asleep. Good job. And Kent, what does this tell us about Rena? Um, she is, she doesn't like this um, camp and she thinks that she, um, she is very angry because she has to sleep in the uh, coat mm -hmm. because I think that she is, she doesn't like to sleep in the coat. So, well, what does she, so from that sentence, what does she like to sleep on? Like she like to sleep on a bed or like some. Does she like things that are uncomfortable or very comfortable? Very comfortable. Yeah, she prefers being comfortable. All right, good job. <laughs> so, Lam, do you have anything to add? Miss Lisa, that the sentence, uh, I hate camping the showers, are absolutely primitive. It is not in scene two. Which scene is that one in? It is scene three. Ah, okay. Well, all right, that's okay. Thank you, Twilam. Good catch. Okay, so the first page let's go on to our second page <coughs> so here we were supposed to read page 55 scene 5 look for a dialogue that tells you about what each character is like write lines from the play and tell what it says about the character so what dialogue did we come up with for Althea from this page Sky do you have dialogue from this page for us mm -hmm. that it I now I know why Rina is being so serious. Can you say again? Mm -hmm. That it that's it. Now I know why Rina is being so secretive. And what does this tell us about Althea? Mm -hmm. It tells that uh, she likes to figure things out on her own, and uh, she's very curious. All right, good job. She's curious and she likes to figure things out on her own. Good job. Okay. Did we get any other uh, dialogue from Althea? What else does Althea say on this page? Tripping? Do you have any dialogue for us? Uh, wait, Rena. I know that you hate swimming and that you're only taking lessons because you said you helped me win. We're only taking lessons because you said you'd help me win. And what does this tell us about Althea? Uh, she is smart and memorable. Um, she's memorable or she has good memory? She has good memory. Mm -hmm. So she's smart and has good memory okay and what about uh okay perfect thank you Twitmang. good job all right what about uh rena's dialogue from this page what does rena say here bill what does rena say uh from page 55 uh rena says that uh is that right first of all i don't have secrets I simply choose not to share certain things. 
First of all, I don't have secrets. I simply choose not to share. Not to share certain things. Certain things. And what does this tell us about Rena? She is uh, not keeping uh, secrets. She's not keeping secrets or she is? She, she, she says she doesn't have secrets, but she chooses not to. There are certain things. So is so she keeping she secrets? Is, yes. All right. So what do we call someone who keeps many secrets? They are? Secretive. Secretive. Good job, Bill. She is secretive and we'll say a private person. So someone who's private likes to keep things to themselves. They don't like to share all the information about themselves. Good job, Bill. Okay. Any other dialogue about from Rena? Ciro, do you have anything for us? What did Rena say there? Um, well, I also hate breaking promises. I must ask though, what do you mean happy when have I made the mistake of assuming that we are a team? Have I made the mistake of assuming that we are a team? And what does this tell us about her? Assuming that we are a team. What does this tell us about Rena, Ciro? Um, I, but I wrote that, well, I also hate breaking promises. I just asked though, what do you mean help you win? Sorry, say that one say it again a bit slower so I can hear. Well, I also hate breaking promises. I must ask though, what do you mean help you win? Well, I hate breaking promises. Yes. And then we'll have all the stuff in the middle. Okay, so what does this tell us about Rena? She is a, she is a person that hates that that hates to break promises and she uh, she is trustful she's trustworthy and if someone keeps their promises we can say that that person is dependable you're able to depend on them right she is trustworthy and dependable good job right. um, any questions about this homework what do we think of this one? Easy, medium, or difficult? Nothing? Easy or difficult? Medium? Okay. Does anyone, Kent, do you have a question about this homework? No. No? Okay. All right, so remember, if you have questions about the homework, please um, raise your hand and ask, or you can type your question into the chat to make sure everyone understands, okay? So, we're going to talk about theme today. We talked about theme many, many, many times. So, sorry, actually, before we do that, let's go back. So, we know from our character's dialogue that we can tell a lot about our characters from the things that they say, right? So, remember when, I, when we're writing our narratives and our stories, I tell you the narrator shouldn't always be telling about the characters. The characters can speak for themselves, right? The characters can let the readers know what kind of person they are, what kind of character traits they have, how they're feeling, okay? their motivations, why they're doing certain things. So it's good to pay attention um, to what our characters are saying throughout a story and to analyze what our characters are saying. Um, and that can also help us with theme. So who can tell me what is theme? Anyone remember? We've talked about theme a bunch of times before. Say, Richard, do you remember what theme is? I need cameras on from Chet Ming, Dino, Bill, Mit A, Ming Cho, Boo, Richard, Pizza. Oh, Pizza's camera's broken. Okay. I want to see everyone's faces, please. Richard, do you remember what theme is? Theme of a story. Hmm, 
Bridget, um, I think your internet's a bit slow. I'm having trouble hearing you. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and type your answer into the chat, Richard, so I can see. Pizza, do you remember what theme is? Everyone else can be typing their answer into the chat. What is theme or some words that describe um, theme? I think the theme is uh, the purpose of um, the writing. The purpose of the right, like the author's purpose? Yes. No. Theme is very different from author's purpose. Mit A, what do you think? Uh, it is the genre of the story. Theme, nope, not the genre. The genre is what kind of story it is. Yeah, Hen, good job, you got it. Um, Tuelam, almost, got it. Zero, close, B, mm, close, Twitmang's got it, let's see. Elsa, what do you think? I think the theme is the message or lesson that we can take from the story. Okay, yep. Uh, Minnie, what do you think? I think the theme is a message about life or people. Mm-hmm, good job. All right, so, <clears throat> Theme is the underlying message of a piece of literature. Okay, so theme can be applied to everyday life. So our theme is going to say, make a statement um, about the world or about how people interact with each other. Okay, so theme is not just the moral of a story. A moral of a story is normally stated at the end of a story. Okay. Um, it's a big idea. Good job, Lily. It's a big idea about people, life, and the world. Okay. So the theme, you can find clues to get you to the theme throughout the entire story. So gonna, how can we determine theme? We can gather details about the characters, setting, and the plot. We can think about how characters respond to challenges. And we can also think about how the characters change throughout the story. So what lesson did the character learn in the story and how can I apply that to my everyday life? Okay, so when you're coming up with a theme, you're not gonna be writing well, Althea and Rena learned this. Now you need to think of what lesson did the girls learn and how can you apply that to your everyday life? It's a general statement that discusses um, big ideas about people, life, and the world. Okay, so we're gonna do some practice with theme today. Um, and then you're gonna do a, we're gonna do a theme quizzes together and then you'll do a theme worksheet for homework. Okay, so let's look at some theme examples. Always be yourself. Is this something that we can apply to everyday life? Yeah, so let's discuss more about this theme. What do we think this theme, always be yourself? What might this one mean? Or how might we be able to tell that this is a theme in a story? What might this theme mean? Or how might we be able to tell this theme in a story? Okay, so if a story had the theme always be yourself, what might the what lesson might the character have learned? Or what might the character have done in this story? Okay, loudly, Ming Cho, so I can hear you, please. I'm having trouble hearing you, Ming Cho. Okay, you can type your answer. Yeah, go ahead. The character have done what? Ming Cho, it's very soft, so type your answer into the chat for me, please. What do you think, Kent? What might the character have done in the story if this was the theme? Um, if the character mm -hmm. If this was the theme of a story, do you think throughout the whole story the character was just being himself or herself? I think that the, the character will um, do uh, he will copy, uh, he will do someone else's work. Yep. But he think, but 
at the end of the story, he will know that um, he, he, um, he can uh, always be his own self, he's the best. Good job. So maybe the character might have pretended to be someone else or copied other people, but then at the end of the story, he would have learned that it's always best to just be yourself. Good job, Kent. Okay. Another example, hard work pays off. Can anyone remember a story that we've read that had a theme like this? Do you remember a story that had a theme like this? Uh, um... I don't remember. You don't remember? Say, does anyone remember Dino? Do you remember the story? Um, the girl, a girl who um something spider. So which one? The girl who loves spiders. The girl who loves spiders. Okay. Good job. Anyone else? Twit me. Do you remember this one? Uh, no. No. Does anyone remember the story Tops and Bottoms with the rabbit and the bear? Yeah. And the rabbit, the rabbit worked hard and was able to trick the bear because the bear was lazy. So hard work pays off. Okay. You must be a friend in order to have friends. How might a character have learned this lesson in the story? You must be a friend to have in order to have friends. James, how might a character have learned this lesson in a story? Yes. How might a character have learned this lesson in a story? How might this theme be apparent? You must be a friend in order to have friends. Mm, listen to other people. And sometimes you have good things or something. Okay, so maybe that this character was not a good friend and then ended up having no friends. And then we know that this would be the theme. Okay, and then honesty is the best policy. Okay, so it's important to be honest. Treat others the way you want to be treated. So these are some examples of theme that we might come across. Um, so let's come up with, I'm gonna ask you guys some questions about the story and then we're gonna see if we can come up with the theme together. So in the story, how does Rena and Althea's relationship change? How does Rena and Althea's relationship change in our story? So everyone can be writing this down. So you know, so you, you can have an example for when you do the homework on your own. In the story, how does Althea and Rena's relationship change? Uh, first, Rena do not like Althea, but now she knows that Althea is a kind person. All right, can you say it, it a bit louder? Rina. Uh, At first, what is their relationship like? Like, uh, like people that do not know each other. At first, they think they're very mm. similar or very different. Different. They think they're very different. But at the end, what did they find out? I don't that no. They, um... Are they very different at the end or do they have some things in common? In common. Mm -hmm. They have more in common than they thought. Good job. Okay. Um, how do Rena and Althea respond to challenges? So they need, they are competing in this tournament. 
Okay, so how do they respond to the tournament? What do they do? Chimai, how do the girls respond to the challenge of the tournament? Mm, they respond excitedly. How so? <clears throat> because they were always talking about the challenges. Okay, and do they work hard to overcome this challenge or do they, are they just lazy? They were working very hard for the challenge. Mm -hmm. And why do they work hard? What do they want to do? Because they want to earn, uh, the, win, the, the, win the challenges. Mm -hmm. So they work hard to overcome their challenges uh, and the challenge. trophy and the trophy and how are how do the girls act towards each other Ling Ji in the story how do the girls act towards each other mm, they're friendly to each other okay they're friendly and when remember during like the canoe race um, even though, which one, Althea doesn't win the canoe race, how does Rena act towards her? Mm. Is she upset with her? No. Or how does she act? Mm. What is what does Rena do while Althea is race is in the canoe race? Is she off riding or practicing her own things, or is she there cheering her on? Ling Chi, do you remember? Okay, Bill, what do you think? Uh, How do the girls act towards each other? Well, mm -hmm, go ahead. Uh, Everyone else can be typing their answers into the chat for me, please. What is the same? Miss Lisa. Mm -hmm. What is the two girls the same? No. How do they act towards each other? For example, when Althea is in the canoe race, what does Rena do? Does she off practicing jumping charger or is she standing there cheering for Althea? Oh, she, uh, she uh, cheer for Althea. And even when Althea doesn't win first place, what does Rena say? Does she say, oh, well, you're gonna make us lose this competition. Or does she say, you did a great job anyways? You did a great job anyways. Okay, so the girls are, uh, can we come up with that word? When you cheer for your friend and you say you've done a great job and you're there for them, what's that yeah. word? Friendly. Mm, it's friendly. more so than friendly. Grateful. Grateful, no. Does kind. Ever, kind. More so than kind. When you're standing on the sidelines cheering for your friend, saying, you can do it, go ahead. Uh, Ling Chi's got it. Is. Mitzi's got it. Lily's got it. Hen's got it. Good job. Let's see. Ling Chi, what's that word I'm looking for? Supportive. Yep, good job. The girls are supportive of each other and encourage each other. 
during challenges. I, good job. <clears throat> they are supportive. They're standing there cheering each other on. All right. And our last one. What happens to the girls at the end of the story? Who remembers? Who read the end of the story? They can tell us what happens to the girls at the end. Do you remember what happens at the end? Uh. What do they both find out at the end? When mm. Gerard comes to pick up Rena? Uh. What do they both have? Both have a... Yep. They both change. They both have... The same... Uh, necklace. Yep. And what do we think that this means? Thank you, Feng Tao. They both have the same necklace. Where is Althea's, or sorry, where's Rena's necklace from? Where did Rena get her necklace from? Elsa, where did she get her necklace from? She got the necklace from her parents. Who are? Her parents are the rulers of a country. Mm-hmm. And then if Althea has the same necklace, what do, what can we infer? They're relatives. Yeah. They're relatives. Okay. So the girls are probably relatives of each other. Yeah, good job. So now that we have all of these details, what might be the theme of this story? What might the author want us to learn from this story and apply to our everyday life. So I want everyone to type their answer into the chat. Actually, let's do that. Type your answer into the chat. And we'll see what we, what we come up with. What can we take away from this story? What's the underlying message that we can apply to everyday life? Pizza, are you typing your answer into the chat? Yes. James, are you typing your answer into the chat? James, are you typing your answer into the chat? News. All right, let's see. I have one from Twilam, one from, oh, sorry, I have one from Elsa, I have one from an A, from Bill. Okay, Bill, I wanna know about the theme now, Bill. One from Lily. So remember our theme doesn't have anything to do with the characters. We're going to use what we've learned about our characters to come up with the theme, but in your thematic statement, no mention of characters, no pronouns, okay? So what can we learn from this story and how can we apply it to everyday life? So think about, at first, the girls are quite different from each other, right? Just like we figured out from the dialogue, Althea is simple, she's fine with just the cot. She doesn't mind cleaning the horse's stalls. Um, she's fine going to the mess tent. Arena is very fancy. She needs many mattresses. She thinks that the, the smells of the camp are gross. And then at the end, They've realized that they're both, they both want to win. So they're supportive of each other. And they both have the same necklace, meaning that they are probably related. Okay. So a story can have more than one theme. So I'm gonna write down some ones from the chat that are good. So we have people from different, backgrounds often have more in common than they think. 
Good job. All right, so I also have um, working together is the best way to achieve a common goal, right? If you both want something, the best way to go about it is to work together. Okay, so these might be some good themes that we can see from this story. Does everyone see how we use the details from the text to come up with our themes? Yeah, does anyone have questions about how we came up with the themes? You can either raise your hand or you can type it into the chat. No, we're all good, we know it? Okay. All right, I'll send this one home as the example. Um, for to help you with your homework for today. Okay. And then we'll do the quizzes tomorrow when we get into class, we'll do it together. Okay, so your homework for today is going to be a theme worksheet. Okay, so the worksheet will look like this theme homework. Okay, so I have a story for you to read. Okay, it's called Summer Holiday. So everyone's gonna read the story. Um, it's not too long. Okay. And then you're going to answer the following questions. Okay, it says underline the text. So answer the following questions and then also underline or highlight the text evidence in the color indicated. So for question number one, you can highlight or underline red. Question number two, orange. Number three, yellow. Four, green. Five, blue. Six, purple. Okay, and this will help us to um, locate our text evidence. Okay, so see if mom and dad can print it off for you so you can not do it on the computer. Okay, does anyone have any questions? A, do you have a question? No. Let's see, do you have a question? Do you want me to send the link to it now or upload it onto the, um, the chat now? Okay, I'll put it on the chat now and then Ms. Han will also send it. It's called, let's see, theme homework. So see if you can get it printed out. Okay, so the theme homework is up on the chat. You can download it to your computer now or you can wait for Ms. Han to send it to you. Any questions about what to do for homework or what we talked about today? No, 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 no. Okay, so when you have finished no. downloading, you can exit the chat and I will see you guys tomorrow or exit the meeting, okay?